Gallstone terms can be confusing. You got biliary colic, cholestitis, cholelithiasis, cholelithiasis. I'm going to break them all down right here. Let's go. First term is cholelithiasis. Litho means stone, so this literally means gallstones, and we usually see this in the gallbladder. So cholelithiasis just means someone has gallstones in their gallbladder. These patients may not have any symptoms, so this is an incidental finding, or they may have a symptom depending on where this little stony right here gets obstructed. So let's talk about the rest of the terms that are caused by their symptoms. First complication is biliary colic. Colic means pain, so the only issue here is pain. What happens here is that when you eat, especially something fatty, the gallbladder squeezes. If you have a stone in here, that stone can get lodged in the neck of the gallbladder, and then when the gallbladder relaxes a couple hours later, the stone will fall back, and therefore everything will be okay. So this is a transient pain after eating. Labs will be normal because the obstruction goes away when the gallbladder relaxes. The rest of the complications, though, are going to be more serious because the gallstone gets lodged in place, so the obstruction doesn't resolve. The first one of these is cholecystitis. What happens here is that the gallstone gets stuck in the cystic duct, so you can remember cystic duct for cholecystitis, and itis always means inflammation, so what happens is that gallstone in the cystic duct causes persistent pain because now bile can't drain. This is going to cause the gallbladder to become inflamed. So all of this inflammation here is going to manifest as a high white blood cell count and a fever. And the key exam finding for cholecystitis is a positive Murphy sign. Next is cholidocholithiasis. Remember, lithiasis means stone. Doco means duct. So here our little stony is stuck in the common bile duct. The problem here is that not only is it blocking the drainage of bile from the gallbladder, but now the bile from the liver also can't drain. Therefore, we're going to get cholestasis, which means that we're going to get jaundice due to elevated bilirubin, and the other labs of cholestasis are elevated GGT and alkaline phosphatase. And last but not least, we have acute or ascending cholangitis, and this is a complication of the last one. So our stone is still in the common bile duct, but now because the bile is uh, static and stagnant, some of the bacteria from the intestines can sneak in here and cause an infection. So that's why we have infection or inflammation of the biliary tract. So the key finding here is going to be Charcot's triad, which is right upper quadrant abdominal pain, fever, and jaundice. And if this persists and the patient gets sicker, this is going to cause severe sepsis. So you get the two additional findings of hypotension and altered mental status. And these two, in addition to Charcot's triad, are called Reynolds pentad. As a quick recap, biliary colic and cholecystitis are not yellow. That means they don't cause jaundice. That's because the stone is obstructing way up here. Common bile duct is still open. It can still drain the liver. On the other hand, cholidocholithiasis and ascending cholangitis, stone is obstructing the common bile duct. The liver can't drain the bile. Therefore, they're both yellow. They can both cause jaundice. Check out this video to learn more about all the different complications.